20 years ago, I represented the United States at the United Nations Fourth World Conference on Women in Beijing, China. Alongside representatives from 189 countries, we came together to declare with one voice that women's rights are human rights. That message echoed around the world, and today there are more laws prohibiting discrimination and violence against women than ever before. And we've made strides in improving health and education for women and girls. But we still have lots of work to do to ensure the full participation of women and girls in every aspect of their societies, and not just in far off places, but here at home. I want to thank Penn Law for your commitment to everything from advancing women's role in sustainable development to insisting on women's participation in peace and security processes. You are living proof that law schools can and should be at the forefront of training the next generation of women leaders and advancing gender equality under the law. I hope that this summit will be as productive and inspiring as the women you're bringing together to participate in it. You know, when Carrie Burnham Kilgore defied convention to become the first woman to graduate from Penn Law and to become a member of the Pennsylvania Bar and to serve in the state judiciary, she didn't just break barriers for herself. She inspired countless women to follow their own dreams. Her legacy is a call call to action to all of us who strive to throw open doors of opportunity so more people can walk through them. I am deeply honored to receive the Kilgore Award, and I am so grateful to all of you for what you do every single day to continue to fulfill her legacy. Thank you all very much. <music>